What's up, people of YouTube? It's me, Mr. Zombie Hunter 88. I'm also known as Sword Brony, and I got a review here for the Leopard's UTG Shoto Holster System. As you see, I'm wearing it right now, and like how I usually wear it when I go outdoors. I'm a little pack on, little happy little honey badger hanging off the back. My gun. Got a knife right here. Because I just wanted to show you uh, one of the good points of a shoulder holster system and why I bought this is that you can wear it open carry like this when you go in the woods and it doesn't interfere with, you know, with your other stuff. So I can have my pistol, you know, I've run into some zombies, just draw my pistol, I can start shooting, I can reholster, and it's not in the way. It's not in the way of my, my backpack. Now, let me take my backpack off, get to the main part of this review. Uh, as you see, the straps, you can put other stuff on there. I have a little uh, tactical knife here. Pull that off, as you see. I, did, I have mount, You can mount it up like that. You can put a sheep knife or a K-bar or whatever you want on there for CQB combat. And onto the holster. This is made out of 900 Dempar. Nylon. I paid only ten dollars for this, and I, I got it online for ten dollars. The shipping handle was only a few bucks, and I got this a couple years ago, so it might be a little foggy on the details. But it was it was it was nine ninety nine. I got it online. It's sold as as for airsoft guns, but it fit. But it, you can use it for uh, real firearms. It will fit Glocks, um, K frame, Smith and Wessons. Uh, most large frame weapons, and it rides quite comfortable. I mean, you can, you know, put whatever you want in there. As you see, it has a double uh, stack magazine pouch on the side, so you would have two extra mags. I haven't tried it with, um, with a lot of different types of mags, but it will fit, I mean, nine, it'll fit most 9mm mags. I'm not sure about Glock 23 mags, like the 40 s and Ws or 45, but it definitely will fit something in the 9mm range. So you can probably get a Glock 19, 15 round mag in there or something like that. And it will fit, as I said, the holster itself will fit most firearms, most. Uh, the system, as you see, rides quite well. And, and one thing I love about this is that you can wear this and here in Florida we have a lot of water and stuff like that. And I use this for fishing. So when you're out in the stream or you're in a pond or even in the ocean, you can have your gun nice here, high and dry, you know, you can do whatever else you want. Uh, let's, see, let's see, what else can I say about this holster? Oh yeah, uh, short holsters are man's oldest type of holster. So, you know, it's been around, these types of holsters have been around for a long time. So, if you want to get one, this would be a good buy. Uh, the short holster versus leg holster, I'll go short holster every time because, see, I can jump it down like this gun flops a little bit but doesn't move all that much so you can run around jump barrel rolls do all that good stuff like that leg holster on the other hand you run I mean that thing is gonna be flopping around like an mf -er, and it's gonna you know it's gonna get caught on things I I as I said I don't have a firearm I just have this Glock 18c uh, airsoft gun in there for demonstration purposes and uh, as you see you can have velcro or you can thumb break it I prefer the Velcro because it just holds it in there. This is not really built to be a concealed carry weapon holster. I mean, they sell it as such at gun stores, and I've seen it at like places like uh, uh, let's see, Dick's Sporting Goods and stuff like that. But it's not really a concealed carry holster. This is better for open carry and stuff like that. Let me check my time. Got five minutes. Okay, uh, so. As I said, I mean, this holster is a good buy. If you are looking at the UTG Leopard shoulder holster, and you know you're using, you're going to use it for airsoft, or even to carry your firearm in an open carry, like in the woods or something like that, just for defense against four two-legged predators, I would recommend it. But as I said, this is not built for speed. I mean, like if I'm going down the trail and I see a coyote, I can you know draw it pretty quickly. I mean, if you practice, you can draw it. But basically, just pull the strap like that. I mean, you know, as I said, it's not a speed holster system, but it works well. I mean, it's, it's excellent for weapons retention because that ain't coming out. 
I mean, if you're handy with needle and thread, you can probably modify this and make it a little bit stronger, but the broker on here is quite strong. I've been using this shirt holster system since 2008, so, you know, that's, and it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about this? Hmm, Oof, not too good at this reviews. Okay, uh, uh, oh yeah, how it's retained. If you, you can loop it through belt loops, like right here you can put a belt, it just has Velcro. And uh, the holster is fully adjustable for length, width, girth of the person. You can take this is you can take this off, you put it on the other side, or you can or if you go to Leper's website you can order uh, another holster for it and have a double rig if that's what you feel like. Uh, as I said, this is a very good holster. I'm trying to keep this short. Um, hmm. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments box and I'll let you know. But as I said, if you have to choose a holster system for carrying uh, your airsoft gun or your or your Glock or whatever, uh, I would just, as I said, I would choose this. I mean, it's nice, it's cheap, not cheaply made, but it's a, a cheap thing to buy. You can carry your gun, you got your Glock, your knife, whatever you need right there. And if the Walking Dead ever come, you can sit there and have your pack and your weapon close at hand, so that way you don't have to give it up. And as I said, it's very comfortable to wear. I mean, you can wear this all day. I mean, you could be out there fishing, hunting, sitting on the john, reading the newspaper, whatever you need. And you've got your shoulder holster system right here. I mean, shoot, for a shoulder holster, you don't have to be wearing clothing. I mean, as long as you have an upper body, you just put it on there. It may flop around a bit with no pants on, but shoot, you can. Because uh, I know, I used to tell this guy, he was a, private security contractor and he used to do security for a villa over in South America and he preferred the short hold system. He said that probably has to try one because that would work a lot better because you could put your gun, he had a light knife and his magazines all mounted there and he would hang on the bedpost at night and if anything would bomb the night or he had to go check out something for the client, just grabbed it, he just threw it on, didn't even have to put on you know, the rest of his gear, just throw that on. Maybe he would have put on some light body armor and he would good to go. So, as I said, this is a good selection for all you uh, people out there that are looking for a holster. Um, hmm. As I said, it's fully adjustable. It's a good system. Very good system. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. I'm out. Yeah, I just wanted to add uh, one last thing. I'm going to take it off so I can show you guys. Sometimes when I do reviews and stuff, I'm not very clear on things. The actual holster system off. All right, so this is the actual holster system. You got a D ring in the middle, that's what holds it. There's some Velcro or uh, stretchy stuff here. So it stretches for girth. The shoulder part that goes on your arms, it's padded, it has quilting padding on both sides. There's the straps are adjustable for girth, length, stuff like that. There's buckles holding the mag uh, pouches and the holder pouch on there. You can adjust uh, the cant for the yeah for the mag pouch. You can adjust the cant. You can have a cant forward, cant back, uh, like that. Um, let's see. Velcro holds the mag pouches in there. No, uh, you got Velcro, also some stretchy mounted on, on there so it can stretch for movement and stuff like that. This is, that's how it rides on the belt loops. Other side, you see the, hol the holster itself has dual Velcro on both sides. So you can have it ambidextrous. You can have it canted wherever you like for the holster, so you can have it canted up, canted down, straight back. Also like that. It's available, I'm not sure what other colors is available, but I got mine in Army Digital. I know they used to have one that was in Fire Camo, they had one that was in, uh, what was it, like Jungle or something like that, Tiger Stripe. Um, as I said, the holster I paid $10 for it, shipping handling, I think it was like 3 or $4, wasn't that much. And it's, and as I said, it's a pretty good holster. If uh, 
You need a holster to carry your weapon. Oh, yeah. The holster itself has an open barrel design, so you have a longer weapon it can accommodate in there. Uh, as I said, you need a, a, a holster. This is not just a holster, this is a holster system. Because you got your mags, uh, holster for the gun, put other stuff on there and stuff like that. It can be modified. It's a very good holster system to to buy, as I said. I mean, if you're an airsoft player, so all that tactical gear, you know, body armor and all that shit like that people have. This is a lot simpler because you can have your gun, you have a full auto um, airsoft pistol, you can have that for backup and, your, and some mags, batteries, whatever you want to put in there. And, you know, you can just put on some regular cargo pants, or maybe just a chest rig, and you can carry your mags for your rifle or your primary weapon. I said all that ridiculous crap. And as I said, I mean, it's a very light traveling piece of gear. I mean, you can have it for, as I said, the zombie apocalypse ever was to come. It was a good, be a good system to have because, as, you know, you can wear it all the time with, with good retention. Uh, let's see, what else could I say about this? Um, guess that's about it. I mean, it's, well, I said, it's a shoulder holster system and it's nylon. So, that's that. Let's say if you have any comments, just leave it in the question box. Um, I guess that's it. Let's see. Oh yeah, as I said, the reason why I bought this was that A, it looks cool. B, it rides very well because I'm a very skinny, tall person. So on me, everything kind of just you know hangs off. I I bought a leg holster, flops around, hangs off me. I have a belt holster that rides pretty well, but you know, unless I want to invest some serious money in it, I'm not going to be able to get a pretty good uh, belt holster. Most of the nylon rigs are not very good. Uh, you know, as I said, I don't carry concealed carry. This is just open carry for woods, walking around. My other pistol that originally is from uh, Rodin was I had a uh, target pistol, had a kind of a wood stock in the front of it. It was like, I think it was a Daisy. $3.99 um, or something like that. It, it's a long target pistol, has about, about this long. Has a wood stock under it. Kind of, here, yeah, let me show you. Got a book right here. Let's see. H and R. Browning. That's a bookmark. Where is it? Alright, here we go. It was... It's wet. Nope. Okay. It was a copy of the Browning Mel Melis. As you see, this is Browning Melis. What it looks like. This is what the gun I had previously in there looked like. It was a, it was a copy of the Browning Melis. Uh, standard pistol and that's what previously wrote in there so as I said it accommodates most pistols so as I said if you have any questions comments go ahead and and leave them but don't leave any ridiculous crap like that like people always do like oh well you know it's a sugar holster you can't conceal I'm like well no duh it's not for concealment you know if you're wearing a short holster for concealment you have to be either A up north or B somewhere we can wear an over covering for it all the time so as i said i guess that's it and if you have any comments let's go ahead and say it i'm out